Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to fix the broken cutscenes in Dark Siders for Master Edition running on Steam Deck with SteamOS. Now I have already shown you this process in another video, but in that video I used an older version of Proton which was causing a performance regression. In this video I will be using Proton version 8.0-5. It will help in running the game at 60 FPS for the most part. First I will demonstrate the problem using Proton version 8.0-5 as the compatibility layer. Launch the game. Performance tab, only level set to 2, frame limit set to 60, and that's it. Game settings, texture filtering set to 8 times, and isotropic. Texture quality set to high, FX A. Need to restart the game now to apply the setting, VSync disabled. Starting a new game, a cutscene should be playing. Okay, it got skipped, straight away jumped into the gameplay. Now I'll show you the fix. Stable 60 FPS here. Switch to SteamOS desktop mode. I'll be following the updated instructions from user x 979 on ProtonDB. Big thanks to them. First we need to download an archive file. Click on this link. Media foundation is required in order to render the cutscenes properly. And just click on code here. Now click on zip. Archive will be downloaded. Process started. Open Dolphin File Explorer, go to Downloads. There is the archive file that I just downloaded. MF install cap Steam Deck main. You can extract it anyway on your Steam Deck. I have created a folder in this directory and named it as test. I will be extracting the contents of media file archive file to this folder. Just open the archive file, double click. Keep it running in the background. Open test folder. Open the archive file again and just extract mf install cap steam deck main folder. It includes all of these files and folders. Extract it to this directory. There's the folder. There's the install mf64.sh file. Now we need to execute a console command in order to compile a script. Just click on steam icon here. Type console. Starts with the alphabet K. I'll show you the complete command. Open a text editor. This line of text will be the same for both of us. I'll give it in the description of the video. Just copy it from there and paste it here. Now at the end of the line, just press the space bar key. Give one space. Go back to the directory where you extracted the contents of Media Foundation archive file. Just right click on install mif64.sh file. Click on copy location. Open the text editor, paste the line here. Make sure there is one space between these two lines. Right click, paste. Now again give one space, press the space bar key. Just type hyphen or dash proton. That's it. Now if you extracted the contents of media foundation archive file to the same directory where I did, this complete line of text will be the same for both of us. Select all copy open the console terminal paste the command here make sure steam deck is connected to a stable internet connection hit enter and wait for the process to complete some files are getting downloaded script has been compiled it took about 40 minutes on my steam deck now you need to get mfplat.dll file in your application directory close the console Go back to the directory where you extracted the contents of Media Foundation archive file. From here, just copy mfplat.tll file. We need to paste it in the games install directory. Open Steam. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, browse local files. And this is the games install directory. There is the games exe file. Paste the dll file here. That's it. We are ready to run the game. Switch to Steam Gaming Mode. Using the same Proton compatibility layer. Launch the game. Opening credits are rolling. Our fix worked. Starting a new game. This time, before jumping into the gameplay, a cutscene will be playing. Cutscene is playing, getting a stable 60 FPS. Audio is rendered properly.
skipped it. Jumped into the gameplay. Let's check out the performance. We are getting a stable 60 FPS. That's really good to see. Okay, controller prompts are not showing up. Protonate resolves the performance issues. FA should not be dropping down to 40 now. This was the case with the older version of Proton that I used in my previous video. To take out the big guy, activate the kiosk form. You need to press L1 and R2 key together. We are getting a rock for at 60 FPS. Feature is down. GP load is around 60 to 70 percent. Destruction going on. Power draw is around 13.5 watts only. This is amazing. Should be getting a playtime of around 3 hours on a full battery. We saw a Titan. There it is. Can this thing? <laughs> it fell down. Tripped. Kill these creatures. Last one remaining. Okay, not the last one. Two more of these creatures. I'm swinging my plate. Almost there. There you go guys. This is how you fix the cutscenes in this game and run it at 60 FPS on Steam Deck. That's it with the video. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.